I think I had the game under control throughout, but then when I saw on the 16th hole, when I hit it over the green, then I made a par, and then I saw Khalil had a four footer for birdie, and then he makes it, and then I looked at the board, I was actually one ahead. So it kind of, I was like, gave me a shock. I was like, I thought I was quite away from everyone, but then, you know, I just made sure that I kept my game the way how I wanted to play. I attacked on the 17th as well, went over the green, made an up and down, but I guess uh, that bogey which Khalil made kind of gave me a uh, sort of a uh, breathing uh, for the last hole to go and I just kept that fairway green and just made those parts. I changed my putter this week, I went back to something that I played for a long time and I played with that this week and uh, really happy with that and made some clutch parts like on the 17 today. So I get into that zone, I just try to stay in that bubble and within myself, I don't look at what's the outcome or the income or what others are doing and that's what really takes me going deeper and deeper. If Tata was not on the board, definitely all the professionals would have really struggled. After all, we had the you know, COVID crisis and everything that we all have gone through, but they've always stuck with us. Definitely this win means a lot. It definitely gives me a lot of booster to look at 2023 uh, into a good role. And definitely I think it's high time that I win on the Asian Tour. 